Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Wednesday. It is the 11th of October, 2023. Nice day today. The sun is out. Uh, it's definitely been cooler at night. <laughs> We're getting to that point in time of year. So, it happens. But anyway, uh, leaves are changing. Not so dramatic here yet. We got some reds and, and stuff like that. And then actually over here, uh, the tree back there, really, really red. It's really pretty. But, uh, you know, a lot of leaves have been coming down. I haven't had to cut the grass um, at all because we had such a lack of rain. And, uh, but what are you going to do? I mean, that's all all part of it but uh, anyway I wanted to talk about in this video um, wanted to talk about way too many irons in the fire right too many irons in the fire so what do I mean by that look at the situation in around the world and as hostilities get worse uh, we have a new situation, obviously, with Israel and Hamas, and Israel's not playing around, and I don't, I don't blame them. Um, I don't blame them. I mean, and here's the, here's the talk, okay? And I saw this the other day, and so you don't know what to believe or what not to believe. You don't know what's true. You don't know what's not true. But uh, Egypt is saying that Israel ignored um, warnings right intelligence warnings that something big was about to happen so what they're insinuating is that israel wanted or israel wanted it to happen they wanted to have that attack happen so they would have an excuse uh to do what they're doing right now and in this way they have the favor of the world because they were attacked right so i mean it, it, it always amazes me, what always amazes me about that is that so many of these countries nowadays are looking for uh, world approval. They want to make sure that they're so seen in a good light and not seen as the bad guys. And it's just, it's craziness how things are, are done now. But regardless of if they knew or did not know, you know, tensions have escalated. Israel is doing what Israel's doing, which again, like I said, I completely support Israel in this situation. Um, you don't have to. You can support whoever you want to support. That doesn't make any difference. All right. But at the end of the day, uh, people are dying. Civilians will die. Uh, both sides, obviously. That's happened already. We know that. And uh, so tensions are rising. So what have we done? Obviously, we said, well, we're supporting Israel. We sent the uh, Gerald Ford, our newest, uh, you know, uh, ship, the biggest ship that we have uh, over to the Middle East uh, with its flotilla of other ships, supporting ships. And, uh, you know, we, we're basically showing that, yes, we have Israel's back. Uh, things could escalate. We've also said that we have, you know, we said it, but then unsaid it, but it's an unknown or it's an unwritten type of thing that we have, we're going to support Taiwan, right? I mean, that's already been a, a foregone conclusion. Well, we're also part of NATO, okay? And so right now you just had uh, the latest thing that just happened. There was a communications cable and uh, a gas line from Estonia to Finland, okay? And uh, that has been damaged. Now, Finland is saying they have proof that Russia was behind this um, sabotage attack, whatever you want to call it. Now, because we're part of NATO, does that mean, you know, that we're going to get pulled into a conflict that way? So this is what I'm talking about. We, the United States of America, have way too many irons in the fire. Uh, things can accelerate very, very quickly. Things can get ugly really, really quickly. And so we really need to be paying attention uh, to what's going on. Now, I'm going to tell you folks right now, 
I, I said this before, and I'll say this again. I feel, with watching everything going on, the, the talk coming out of Washington, they want war somewhere. They don't care how it happens. Um, you know, obviously they want to make sure it looks like we're the good guys, so they have a you know the uh, favor of the public's opinion. But it almost, from just watching everything, it truly seems like they they're chopping it to bit to get into some kind of conflict. Uh, again, as I have said before, war is good for the economy, and it's not their sons and daughters going off and dying and fighting in these wars. It's ours. Okay, and I'm not wanting my child to die uh, for Israel, for Taiwan, for anybody in, with you know that we, we would be protecting in the European Union, and I'm sure a lot of people feel the same way. Now, if somebody came here to the United States and tried to do some stuff, that's a different story, okay? Because my daughter won't have to worry about it. You know, I'll be one of the ones stepping up at that point in time because you know this is my country. But anyway. You know, a lot of stuff is going on, and it really seems like they're really wanting this to happen. Uh, that's obviously can be a major distraction, too. And on top of everything else, we have an election year coming up next year. So, you know, and right now, if you saw the polls, and if the two front runners who are Biden and Trump, uh, it's looking, though, as though Trump would win election. And so, obviously, the Democratic Party doesn't want that to happen. And as we continue to watch Joe's mental decline play out before us on TV, uh, it just regalvanizes that. And especially with who his VP is, uh, it's frightening to think of her running the country. Okay? Just as frightening for to think of that. But anyway... I would definitely want to hear your guys' opinion of this situation. I want to hear what you guys think. Uh, do you think we're on a juggernaut towards war? And if you feel that that's going to happen, what are you doing to prepare to get yourselves ready uh, for this situation? Because, you know, this would be, I think, a different war this time. We're not going to be fighting it just on foreign soil. It could possibly be happening right here in America as well. So anyway, guys, uh, I am going to jump off for right now. I will be live streaming tonight as well, so I would encourage you all to join me then. And uh, we'll have a good discussion. So please be safe. Take care of your business. Watch out for each other. And uh, just continue to prep and get ready. Remember, we truly are all in this together. We are one race called the human race. As soon as we can figure that one out, we will be in much, much better shape. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life, so it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD, step, thing, and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to accomplish, whatever you're trying to do, you can do it. The only one stopping you from achieving your goal is you. That's it, nobody else. Stay positive, stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. Have a great day, and I will see you tonight at 8 p.m. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.